Hello my lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Uni of Ife. Uh, information reaching us right now is that uh, the wives of the king, uh, they are confessing out of jealousy and all of that why they don't want Kwenomi to return back to the palace or why it looks as if they don't want Kwenomi to return back to the palace. So, according to them, or according to what they hear, they say one of the reasons they see Queen Naomi as their most driver is because Queen Naomi is different, that she is special, and above all, she carried this grace. We'll be saying anywhere she did, people they recognize her more than others. And the most interesting part of it is that the king, uh, comparing them with Queen Naomi, that they win nothing whenever the king compares them with Queen Naomi, you know, that the king always always make them look as if they are nothing, that Queen Naomi is everything. And come to think of it, they say even when Queen Naomi was in the palace, if there's any occasion like that, that people will always notice Queen Naomi without noticing them, that the kind of recognition that she is getting, that none of them, in the palace get such recognition okay the only person that people recognize a little a little bit that was before is uh, ashley maybe because ashley is from Ileife, and not just that this uh, traditional stuff that ashley is doing it makes people to recognize her too and they said some of them have been uh, um, ashley before now to at least teach them one or two so that even if she, they are uh, Ashley is not around because we do know that Ashley is based in UK. So she's never, uh, she's not al always around when they are doing some traditional stuff like that. So that at least they too will be performing and people will notice them and all of that. Because you know that most of the things they do in that palace that we normally don't involve herself with it due to her faith, you know, and the kind of uh, worship. Uh, the kind of service she renders to God and all of that. So it's not some of this traditional stuff uh, and the calabash carry at them. It is only Ashley who does all of that. And even Ashley herself is not even contented with what she has. She wants to have everything, including the ones Queen Naomi have. She wants to get all the loves, all the love that the king have for Queen Naomi. She wants to be noticed even more than Queen Naomi, even when Queen Naomi was there before her. So, with all of this, they said the women, as in the Oloris, they see Queen Naomi as their biggest threat, as in, because Nano say, King loves Queen Naomi now that Queen Naomi is not even around. In as much as maybe they have used something against the king to make the king allow them to treat Queen Naomi the way they did, that made her leave the palace. Because normally, if the king is walking with clear eyes, he will not allow anything to make Queen Naomi leave that palace. At least not with uh, uh, Prince Tadenikawo, because we do know that Tade is the only son of the king, you know, and not just the only son of the only child from legitimate wife. All these other children, someone like a uh, Prince Sadi or and uh, Ad, uh, is it? Uh, I've forgotten Adam be what? <laughs> so all of them, they are only children, no, no doubt, but. When you talk of th those ones from the people that he married, it is only Queen Naomi. And not just about the son, because a lot of people are saying, hey, the king is doing all these things, making people believe that she, he loves Queen Naomi so much because of Prince uh, Tade Nikawo. No, I don't think it's f uh, uh, just because of Prince Tade Nikawo. Because if it's about Queen, uh, Prince Tade Nikawo, the Oloris, they will know. They will know that uh, uh, this man is going to Queen Naomi because of Prince Tade Nikawo. You know, but they know for sure that uh, the king loves Queen Naomi so, so much. And that is why they feel intimidated by Queen Naomi's presence. They said, when Queen Naomi was in the palace, that anywhere she speak, people will respect her. People will obey her. As in the kind of vibes that she carry. In as much as uh, she's not a talking type because she don't talk too much. But she only talks where necessary or when necessary. They say anytime she talks, people respect her. People honor her words as if she's something else, you know. But then, 
people don't even regard them. And the worst of it is that uh, due to the way things are now, the way people are seeing them as the reason why Kwenami is not in her matrimonial home, that people see them as trash. People disrespect them. People don't even value them. They don't show them love. Rather, what they get from people is hatred and all of that. That is why they don't want Kwenami around. But one thing is certain, whether they want Kwenomi around or, or not, whether they feel intimidated by her presence or, or not, whether she carry grace past them, whether her vibe too much, that is not their business. And if it is the will of God, she is returning in glory to that palace because that is where she belongs. I believe that is where she belongs. A lot of people are saying Kwenomi should, the king should give Kwenomi freedom, let her go and all of that. To me, I believe that is where she belongs and nothing will separate her from there. All this drama from all the soloists, they are a scripture, how will I say, a, a page in Kwenomi's life. And with time, all of those will be cleared off. Whether you believe it or not, she is returning to that palace in glory. And by then, nothing will stop her. But why it looks as if we are saying that she shouldn't go back there now is because of Prince Tade Nikao. Because that one is still a minor. And she still needs to be, uh, he still needs to be protected from all these uh, old cargoes who can do anything for the, ambitious, uh, for the ambition. Because their most ambition is to remain in that palace, to become the old lorries. But why they are where they are not accepted? Because from the look of things, they are not accepted. Even even though there was a time they said the king uh, accepted and loved them, not any longer, due to their character, because it, uh, one thing is certain, it takes beauty to bring someone to a, a place, then it takes character to keep that person there. Maybe the king married them because of their money or anything, but their character might send them away from that place if the case is not taken. So it's better they behave themselves. Whether feeling intimidated by Kwenomi's presence, that shouldn't be their major concern. Their major concern now is how do I live a better life so that people will start seeing some characters they saw in Kwenomi in my life so that at least they will love me. Because people are loving Kwenomi. People are recognizing her. People are appreciating her because of the kind of character that she portrays. Let me tell you, there is nothing on earth that is hidden under the sun. Anyhow anyone is behaving, people are seeing it. It, yourself, you might not even know. But when people are talking about you, that is the only time you know, hey, see, I'm like this. So this is me, this is that. Anything you are doing, every move you make, people are know, people know, and they will say it when it is necessary. So instead of confessing on, on why they don't want to know me back, it will be better they start building themselves, building their character, building everything they need to build up in their lives so that they will fit in in this royal uh, palace. So my people, Lona, so we hear them more. They say then they confess. Say they don't want to know me back because of some of these things that I just mentioned. But that is, it is not in their place to say if Kwenomi will return back to the palace or not. It is left for Kwenomi and the God and her God. So my people, oh, thanks for watching. Don't forget that they are all alleged information. Please subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Bye for now. Love you guys.